So, so Mark, you know, my my suggestion, if if I'm on the air, mm -hmm. and uh, and I'm working, let's say phone, for example, because my style is different on on CW, of course. Sure. You know, I'm basically trying to manage the pileup. My whole goal is to manage the pileup to the best I can, and and I can tell by the my rate, you know, how things are going. I can mm -hmm. I can tell by my rate if it drops off considerably. I can I can tell that perhaps. You know, there's uh, you know some issues on my my transmit frequency, mm -hmm. um, and and so my style is I will try to minimize the the pile up as much as I can without compromising you know my rate. Right. If, if you follow me. Oh, understand. And, and so you know I will typically you know listen up ten to twenty. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so I, I'm I'm like. Uh, have a 10 kilohertz spread on this particular right. de-expedition. I anticipate it will be somewhat wider, wider than, that, than that. You know, right, and so right. you know, depending on on the pileup conditions, um, you know, will be uh, it'll dictate you know mm. how much my listening uh, range will be. Right. Um, but but for me, um, I normally will find a strong signal. Uh, work that signal within the, the split frequency that I've called for. Mm -hmm. And if I'm hearing everybody congregate on that, I will normally go up a little bit right. until I, another signal pops out. Mm -hmm. And I typically go up, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, you know, there's probably a pattern to that. Mm -hmm. um, there are times. I think the pattern would be more easily. Yes. You know, yes, uh, it is. I, I'm going with somebody on the other end. Yes. There, there are times though where I will go to the top end of where I'm listening, mm -hmm. or where I've stated that I'm listening, and I'll listen there, or I may go up another kilohertz or two because I know that. that there typically is that weak signal that's saying, you know, I, I. I I'm not going to compete with all this mess, mm -hmm. and so, so try to get out in the clear a little may, bit. Maybe get out in the clear a little bit, and mm -hmm. I might pick them up, mm -hmm. uh, and then maybe work my way back down a little bit. Do, do you find your rate can go up uh, uh, a lot higher in um, uh, when when everybody that's calling for you is acting in a more orderly manner? Absolutely. You know that's, uh, and it gets back to what you were saying. You know, uh, we're we're kind of the conductor in this orchestra mm -hmm. and so if if we've got somebody that's not following along not listening as, as you'd indicated and and they would rather transmit and transmit and transmit it can impede the the rates obviously right. and uh, and so you know the challenge is is to um, have control as much as sure. much control as possible and for the guys on on the DX end, on your end, mm -hmm. you know, to listen, um, to try to try to figure out the, the pattern, right? And and then uh, and I would don't, say for a lot, I'm sorry. Well, and and don't be a part of the problem. Right, right. You know, don't I, don't be a part of the problem. Mm -hmm. For for a lot of the new people that this might be their first experience or their first pile up, um, it it's going to be intimidating. It's going to be intimidating. There's a lot of people, basically the whole rest of the world, that's going to be trying to contact you. So um, maybe um, at least like uh, look up online and, and read the DX, uh, you know, code of conduct, um, you know, to see maybe how many times you should be sending your call, um, you know, how to wait, uh, you know, in between the calls that you send so that, uh, you know, again, everybody's going to want to work you. Sure. And if everybody, you know, follows that code and and behaves properly, the more they do that, the more of us will get to work you uh, because the more stations you can work. Absolutely. I mean, it, it definitely has a, an impact on the rate. You know, if the DX station is, is going back to a particular station, it doesn't do anybody any good to, for somebody else to continue calling. If, if, I, if I acknowledge, right. you know, the Whiskey 8 Bravo question mark, and I've got a November 3, Lima coming back on that frequency, you know, he's he's part of the problem, right? Right. And because you're not going to work him, and the other no. guy's still trying to get back to you. Exactly. Exactly. So so listen carefully to the to the DX station, 
and you know, try to observe the, the DX code of conduct and, and the etiquette that, that you're talking about. Right. I mean, it's, it's not rocket science. Yeah, it's it's it. kind of common sense. <laughs> I but, agree. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, everybody will be happy if you get in the log, and uh, I understand that. Yeah, that's the goal.